Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. If you're looking for a great option to refuel after getting out there on the slopes, we have a perfect option for you, or maybe just for a great date night. Now I'm here with Casey from The Drunken Goat. Casey, okay, I think people might be relatively familiar with your location. You're in Edwards, but tell us a little bit more about The Drunken Goat. So <clears throat> The Drunken Goat is formerly Eat Drink, which is a popular uh, spot in Edwards. and. Um, Basically, I just found that that concept was uh, well needed in the valley. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of low hanging fruit, uh, and I took advantage of it and we spruced it up, um, sort of flipped the concept uh, more of a restaurant now as opposed to a cheese shop before. So, still offering cheese, wine, that's, that's the focus. Okay. And then we've added <clears throat> bruschetta, paninis, salads, tons of soups. Um, expanded hours, um, live music, stuff like that. So wow! So you've really kind of done a big, a big renovation, if you will. So yeah, it was exciting. a major renovation. A, a major yeah. renovation. <laughs> so you know that you, when you're starting off by putting that much love into a place, when you're just beginning, you must clearly be really passionate about it. I was. Um, you know, the the passion started from moving back to my home state. I'm a Colorado native, and. Uh, so that in itself was, was exciting um, yeah. to get back to Colorado. I'd never lived in the mountains, always dreamt of living in Vail as a kid. And um, brought my family here and um, my wife's thriving. She's teaching yoga and my kids are thriving at Berry Creek uh, Middle School. They're having a blast. And, um, and now you have this community gathering yeah. space. Yeah. That's so incredible. So talk about, let's talk about when people walk in, what's the atmosphere like inside? So um, I had Dana Hugo uh, was, was our designer and what we were going for was kind of like this contemporary, um, comfy, modern um, mountain feel, you know, yeah. not over the top, but we have some leather sofas in there and, and really kind of a place where you can uh, just sort of sink away the afternoon, have a glass of wine, come in for a happy hour. So it's intended to... Um, you know, we have a we have an expanded lunch menu, mm. so it's definitely a lunch spot, yeah. um, and it can be a dinner spot. It, you know, but it's more more a place where you come to grab a bite to eat, um, gather with friends, uh, right. do some shared plates. I don't want to say the word tapas, but it's it 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 goes down that tapas sort sure. of menu. And you know, we saw a shot of the exterior and you have those like the charming lights and the patio set up and you just saw a look at our weather and lately it's been relatively warm for mm -hmm. us. And so, you know, this could be something where especially like I've noticed in the past week that the stargazing opportunity is so perfect. So maybe go and relax and have a little happy hour and, yeah. and enjoy the stars out there as they're starting to come out, you know, at 5 p.m., right? right? So you want a place that's nice and cozy. Yeah. But let's talk about some of, you know, the, the food that you offer. This isn't something where you're just like, oh, we're just going to throw something on a plate. You put a lot of thought and there's a lot of um, a lot of love that goes into the, the food that you're offering. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, I'm a I'm, I'm a trained chef. I, I've been in this business since uh, since I can remember, and um, just really passionate about food. And and what what excited me about this was was sort of this. Uh, all this new education that I'm learning about cheese and and relearning about wine and different kinds of wine. We have uh, Lily Doran is a popular local here, and she's heading up uh, the front of the house. She's our general manager, and she's. Um, amazing palette with wine so she's picked out s some really eccentric uh, wonderful wines at a great value so and that's another thing that we're going for too is 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 having that place that you can have a date night right. and not have it break the bank so yeah, you know people so are important. constantly like wow that's 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 all it costs or whatnot so um, we have you know an amazing happy hour we just won best of for the best uh, wait staff in the Vale Valley that's impressive so, um, wow that was huge that's um, huge yeah Man. S uh, silver in best wine list um, so um, a lot of good things going. Definitely a lot of good things going. And of course, you know, we're, we're out of time, but if you need a place to go and have a date night this weekend, or maybe you're looking for a great lunch spot, head on over to The Drunken Goat. And Casey, thank you so much for being here today. You're welcome. And again, you can find The Drunken Goat in Edwards, and you can go to drunkengoatco.com for more information. You can get a glimpse at the happy hour menu and just kind of get an idea for the whole experience. But great place to do a little dining while you're here in the mountains over the weekend. We'll be right back with more Good Morning Vale.